In this screencast, we will be discussing ultrasound of the neck with a particular focus on lymph nodes and abscesses. At the end of this screencast, you should be able to identify the normal sonographic appearance of a lymph node, and you should be able to describe the typical sonographic characteristics of an abscess. Let's start by looking at lymph nodes. Lymph nodes should have an echogenic fatty hilum, a smooth hypoechoic cortex. They are often described as reniform in shape, meaning they look a lot like a kidney, or they look a little bit like a bean, and they often have hilar blood flow, which you can detect coming into the lymph node at the echogenic fatty hilum. Let's take another look at some normal lymph nodes. I've provided a grayscale image of a normal lymph node, a color Doppler image of a normal lymph node, and then a normal lymph node on CT for correlation in the right upper hand corner. First, you can see this hypoechoic cortex of the lymph node. In the center of the lymph node, we see an echogenic fatty hilum. When we move over to the color Doppler image, we can now see blood flow emanating in that central echogenic fatty hilum. Let's take a look at another characteristic lymph node. Again, you see a smooth hypoechoic cortex with a central echogenic fatty hilum, and we can see the hilar blood flow in the area of the echogenic fatty hilum. Here I've provided multiple examples of normal lymph nodes for your reference. We can see these lymph nodes that have smooth hypoechoic cortices and central echogenic fatty hyla. The cortex can be a variable thickness and the fatty hilum can be large or small, but there is a consistent orientation and often hilar blood flow is detectable. When we look at abnormal lymph nodes, you see a loss of that normal hypoechoic cortex and a loss of the normal central echogenic fatty hilum. Most often, abnormal lymph nodes are seen in the setting of malignancy, although sometimes infection or granulomatous disease can cause abnormalities of the lymph nodes. In each of these cases, we see irregularity of the outer cortex of the lymph node, loss of its normal, smooth, homogeneous hypoechogenicity. In the lower left-hand corner of the image, we see blood flow within the cortex that is not associated with a central echogenic fatty hilum. Now orient yourself to this image and decide which number overlies the normal lymph node. The number one overlies a muscle. Number two overlies a small lymph node with a outer hypoechoic cortex and an echogenic fatty hilum. Number three overlies a vessel. And number four overlies a muscle deep to that vessel. When we look at this a little bit closer, we can remove the two from the lymph node and see that central echogenic fatty hilum with the smooth hypoechoic cortex. For comparison, here's another lymph node with an echogenic fatty hilum and smooth hypoechoic cortex. Now let's shift gears and start to look at the ultrasound findings of an abscess. An abscess is a complex fluid collection. It tends to have irregular or poorly defined margins. You often will see posterior acoustic enhancement behind an abscess because an abscess is fluid filled. There should not be central blood flow within an abscess. Sometimes a mass and abscess can be difficult to differentiate due to the complex internal echogenicity of masses and abscesses, but masses tend to have central blood flow. Another characteristic of an abscess is surrounding soft tissue edema. Often an abscess, which is a localized fluid collection that is infected, will cause substantial inflammation of the surrounding tissues, resulting in edema of those tissues. Here's an example of an abscess in the neck. I have provided you with a CT image 
for correlation in the right upper hand of the screen. Here we see irregular margins. We see posterior acoustic enhancement that helps us decide that this is a fluid collection and not a hypoechoic mass. We also see thickening and edema within the tissues around the fluid collection. If we go to color Doppler evaluation of this same fluid collection, we can see a small amount of vascularity indicated by the blue and red dots along the periphery of the fluid collection, but no blood flow within the center of the fluid collection. I have now provided you with multiple examples of abscesses on ultrasound for your reference. In each of these, you can see posterior acoustic enhancement, a complex fluid collection, and absence of blood flow in the center of the lesion. Now take a moment to answer this question. Which of the following features is not characteristic of an abscess? All right, as we assess each of our answer choices, we see that A is incorrect. Abscesses tend to have irregular borders. We see that B is incorrect because abscesses are fluid collections and fluid collections are characterized by posterior acoustic enhancement or brightness of the soft tissue deep to the fluid collection. Abscesses do not have central blood flow. They are fluid collections. Therefore, choice C is the correct answer. Again, abscesses show surrounding edema due to inflammation from the presence of an infection. We can see here a characteristic abscess which has irregular borders, has posterior acoustic enhancement, and no internal blood flow. In summary, a lymph node, when normal, has a smooth hypochoic cortex, central echogenic fatty hilum, and hilar blood flow. An abscess is a complex fluid collection with irregular margins that demonstrates posterior acoustic enhancement, no central blood flow, and surrounding edema.